Somebody the first year said, you guys bring the Legos and we get to build this amazing thing together. When you get a bunch of creatives together, people that just like do and build stuff reflexively, everyone knows, oh, you can just make stuff happen. Of course you can. Most of the interesting conversations I have here don't have to do with what people are doing with their day job. It's what that day job means to the greater arc of their life. I guess spontaneous is the word. It's a very spontaneous environment, and I don't think many conferences are spontaneous these days. So at any given moment, there are a million things to do that are everything from building and making to talking about something really exciting. It really is what you make of it. Even though Anne-Marie and Deb and Willow and Hillary and I are the founders, everyone who comes to Yes and Yes Yes are the creators of this event, and we all create it together. We're in the Maker Lounge. We've got 3D printers, a milling machine. All weekend we've been printing the new logo, the Octopi. What I do at Yes And is a combination of work on my projects, participate in other people's activities, and hang out. And the hangout is like just as important as everything else. What we're up to here is that how can I help you be more successful so that you can help someone else be successful and this win-win. Yes And is all about the people. Uh, they just let themselves out here and you get to see inside people's personalities into their obsessions and their curiosities in a way that I don't think you do really anywhere. It makes for a place where you can be weird and not feel weird. Creatives and geeks and businessy people who love to and gain energy from collaborating with others. Each year that I've been here, I've had several conversations that have had huge ripple effects on the rest of the year.